What's up guys, it's Geeks Corner here. Today we're gonna to show you how you can set up your own Plex account. Now Plex is free and it is legal. It's available on iOS, Android, and the Fire Stick. Uh, we're gonna be using our Apple iPad just to show you how this is done. And first of all, you're gonna to need to install this from the App Store. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about Plex and what it actually does. So first up, obviously, launch the App Store icon and then we're gonna search for Plex, and it's in the top left one here. And now you can see we've already downloaded it, so we're just gonna click, click on Open, and then this is your main screen, so you can sign in with Google, Facebook, or with the email. So we're gonna click Sign In with Email on this occasion. We don't wanna use anything else, it's up to you what you use. And then it's gonna obviously ask you to sign in. So you're gonna to need to go down to Need an Account, where you're gonna create your own account there. So this is where we now create our own account. So we're gonna just use an email address here. So we just pop this one in just for the purpose of this video. Now we've actually already have our own Plex uh, and I actually use that quite regularly. And I actually find it works quite well on the Apple TV as well. Uh, so we're gonna create a password as well. So if you've got your own media, it's definitely worth looking into. You can set up your own server as well. So let's just kind of quickly sign up now. And then as it loads in, it's going to give you a new screen. Uh, I'm just telling this both of the new designs. We're going to click Got It. Now, it already comes with its own features, so like podcasts, etc. You don't have to use those. But in the top right there, you've got a little letter. Uh, mine is obviously a G for the Geeks Corner. So you're going to click on here. And this is where you can actually add friends. You can actually access their content as well, provided they accept you. So that is something that you're going to want to possibly look into. So you're going to click on Friends. And then here, you're going to want to add in any friends that you don't have. So we're just going to type one in here. And we'll put a link in the description to this video. We're actually going to blur this out just in case this gets removed by YouTube for any reason. Then once you've actually added your friends' details in, you're going to send that off to them. And you're going to have to wait for them to actually add you. Uh, so this one, we've waited in now for those to add us. And then this will then populate this screen so we're going to wait uh, for a friend's request to come back and then we're going to show you a little bit more on another video so make sure you come back and check that out but this is vital if you want to access your friend's media library if you want to share it now like i say this is free and it is legal to do so obviously plex will try and sell you uh, some extra features so it's up to you whether you buy it or not but if you have your own media digital content that you'd like access to set up your server is really simple and we may look at that in the future but make sure you check out plex guys i'll put a link in the description below and you can actually access it directly from there as well we hope you find this useful thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one